Hello and welcome back to Nefarious Enough Guardians. So last time we tried to take over Sintra, it didn't work very well, but we're not going to give up yet because we still have the claim and can be inherited by successor. If our son becomes brilliant, he can hopefully, um, you know, take that claim and press it. And people who are in charge of Sintra right now aren't that good. I mean, this guy, he's got, well, he, he has seven marshals, slightly higher than he had before, actually. How did he get that? Well, he got the sword that gives him two marshal. Um, what else gave him Marshall? Um, I have no idea what else gave him Marshall. Maybe Dil he probably got diligent, yeah. Uh, and he has successful treatment without an illness, so that that's probably what did it. That'll disappear very soon as well. Oh, he wants to discredit me. Oh, I I'm not sure I'm very happy about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so he's now in charge. He doesn't have that many men. We can hopefully beat him in our next life. Uh, or, you know, if the truth ends before we die, we can probably beat him. Now, his heir is a very, very, very good martial character. But after that, there's nobody else in the bloodline. So, that means it would revert back to our liege. And at that point, it would be very difficult to get. So, we need to click, we need to get this before these two people die. And we probably want them married so they have children. Hmm. In fact, if they both die, that's going to be a huge problem for us. Because that will actually go back to our liege. And they're both fairly old. That's a problem. Um, can we declare a war yet? No, we probably need, like, some prestige. We do need some prestige, but we could declare another war fairly soon. We would get a uh, truce breaker, which basically lowers all of our... I think it lowers our diplomacy stat by five, which doesn't matter, really. Um, it also, I think, lowers your opinion by everybody of the same religion as the person you're declaring on by ten. I think that's it. It might even be, like, a hundred. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. It does tell you before you declare the war, so that is something we should uh, keep an eye on. But I think it might be worth doing Truce Breaker. Now, the problem with Truce Breaker is it means that our allies might dislike us more. Now, this guy is still our ally, and we are still in his war. He is, however, going to lose a lot of land here. Who else do we have as allies? Um, we have him, and we have this uh, Duke as well. So that's another 2,000 men. That's not too bad. Um, do we have any other potential ones? We have this guy. We have a non-aggression pact who has that land. Um, why do we have a non-aggression pact with him? Uh, I'll probably tell us somewhere. Right. Let's uh, go out here. Go back in here. Wait, now it says we have no... Oh, I'm on the wrong character. There we go. Uh, why do we have a non-aggression pact? Because there's a betrothal between Sybil and Gammon. Okay, so does he want an alliance? No. Well, we can force that to happen, though. It's only because the opinion of me is so low. Yeah, so what do we need to get that alliance? Uh, negative seven, if he had a positive opinion of us, he would take the alliance. We could give him the tongue of the saint that we have. Six opinion or the sword. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's not going to get him enough opinion, though, so it's not worth it. We could let him be the guardian of one of our children. Like, who's the currently the guardian of our daughter? Of this daughter? It's us. Okay, so he could definitely be the guardian of our daughter. That'll put his opinion positive. Now, will that give him enough? That will not quite give him enough. Political concerns are on our side. It might give him plus one. It's it's close. It's very, very close to it being a uh, no positive here. I will, um, so it's between him... Well, it's between someone and Sybil. Sybil being... Uh, our youngest daughter. So our youngest daughter's betrothed to this guy. Okay, so it's gonna be a while till they're actually married. Hmm. Okay. I think if we got a little bit more money, we could probably do that as well. Ostalin being in... What was it? Yeah, Ostalin being in this war would be fairly good. How much money do we need? 129? That's not so bad. How much money do we make? Yeah, okay. He, he could possibly get in there. Who else do we have as a possibility? We have this guy. So, he's up here. He is the son of the person who we previously had the alliance with. Um, does he want an alliance? No, because he just doesn't really want to. Now, how much does a gift for him cost? 48. Now, that would probably work quite well. That would get us another alliance. That would get us an alliance with him. He's not as strong as the other people, but that would work. Then nobody else we have an alliance with. Okay, cool. So I think we're just going to unpause. Um, actually, our um, diplomacy being lower because we're... Um, hidden away in seclusion, that's probably actually going to, um, like, that's going to affect whether people would want their alliance or not, because it'll affect their opinion of us, so, 
It's all right. Um, that's oh, this. Uh, oh, that's the druid got rid of ill, but we don't have ill thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can set in a new commander. Let's go choose one. Probably doesn't really matter. We're not really going to go to war anytime soon. We're just going to peace out. Just stay chill. Um, although, if I press E, and that basically lets us see who we can declare war on. We can declare war on our liege because we can depose him. Uh, or we can get independence. What's this one? Uh, that's non aggression pact. Okay. Um, and we can declare war on Sintra. Okay, so we have no other declaring war things right now. So that's fine. We'll just unpause, let some things uh, progress, let our prestige go up. Okay, what was that one? You are now known as the Battler. Okay. And disease is still in our realm. In fact, we'll go disease map mode. When it leaves our realm, we'll probably be okay to declare another war, possibly. Do we want to go help our ally? Probably not. That's fine. A book called Basics of Alchemy has found its way into your hands. After reading the book for a bit, you find the subject of alchemy somewhat intriguing. What's our thing? We have hunting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll become an aspiring alchemist. This must be a mod one. Okay. Hmm. So we can definitely open the gates now, because I believe it's not going to spread back into our lands again. What's the It's K for that. Yeah, that's... Okay. Um... So, yeah, it's not going to spread back into our land, so I think we can just open the gates here. Uh, that'll work pretty well. What's this one? We can extort our subjects for money. Kind of seems like a good idea. Uh, we do get a lot of our troops from vassal troops, however. Mm, they all kind of dislike us anyway. And we do actually want them to be positive so we can switch to Tanner Street at some point, even though people severely dislike... Well, one person dislike Tanner, dislikes Tanner Street. Uh, we'll switch to it instead of being like instead of sitting on uh, gavel kind right now. Um, yeah, we need to be at peace. I'm wondering whether we want to go over there and help. Not really. We want to wait for our troops to kind of reinforce. So yeah, I guess we kind of want to wait for this war to end as well. And there's another uprising on our liege who he'll have to go and deal with. Okay, cool. Uh, my liege. I've tried to make this person realize what. Peaceful ruler you are, but you've uh, failed miserably. Okay. Oh yeah, I've sent him to go improve relations with our liege, and uh, luckily he didn't lower relations with our liege, which is fine. He would like me to be a commander. Um, I'm kind of okay with that, but also I don't want to at the same time. Does he hate us even more now? Abandon the commoners. Oh, that's for opening the gates, I think. Okay. Um, and we dislike this person now. Our steward. Oh well, whatever. Our opinion of people doesn't really matter. Drowners have infected the lakes and rivers near Al Abiga. Well, that's unfortunate because that means we're going to have to go and get a witcher. Um, how much does a witcher cost? 10 gold? Actually, it's not that unfortunate. We'll take it. Uh, this guy, we can send him a gift now if he would want an alliance. How much does a opinion does it give? Gives 30. Yeah, that, that'll get us an alliance. There we go. Cool. We now have a third alliance. That's a little bit more than we had last time. Okay. Oh, who did you imprison, Leash? Oh, you imprisoned the person who you're in a revolt against. Okay. How's our army looking? Still not full strength, so we're still not thinking about going anywhere. Um, this try guy's trying to fabricate a plot on the duchy of something. Okay. What exactly? Is this one of our duchies, or do I not care? Oh, yeah, he's trying to fabricate a claim on my land. That's severely not on, actually. Yeah, uh, end your plot. He's just going to say no. Oh. Well, I'm not entirely happy about that. We could imprison him for it, but that means that he will probably rise up against us. Nah, we'll leave it for just now. The White Stag. Lately, you've heard persistent rumors from peasants and travelers in the wilds that a strange mythical beast has been sighted in your realm. It's the White Stag, powerful and elusive. The common folk claim it comes from another world, and the hunter that claims it will be imbued with divine power. Sure, let's go find it. Um, okay. Yeah, it does look like our ally is going to lose this war fairly soon. Ah, this witcher has come and has, uh, you know, decided to come and help us. That's good. Hopefully you can get rid of the, these monsters, so... Was it? Yeah, it's just supernatural events. It's kinda lowers build time and tax. It's not actually not that bad on that particular one. 
Okay, our daughter needs to get some kind of education. Let's go for duty. We can also now use her for opinion by trading her off for opinion. Ah, uh, this guy likes us. My negative is negative 14 now because we've got the ne extra negative 10. I really want that alliance though. Political concerns gone up to a plus three. I think we can get it with double guardian. Although he's already got a ward, so we'd only be able to give him one of our children. Hmm. Okay. That's not going to quite work out because that means he's only going to get a plus 10 opinion. We need to send him a gift if we want to do this. We could offer him a concubine, but we'll only get it if it's our close relative. Which it, is, it isn't our close relative. Okay. We need a little bit more money before we can do anything with that. After selling some various tomes and books of alchemy and making some simple potions by following recipes, you do feel ready to do something more complicated. Browsing the recipes you have, White Rafford's decoction catches your eye. The potion is simple enough and you have most of the ingredients at hand. Okay. We actually have quite high learning, so I guess... Well, we have alright learning, so it says we can... Uh, okay, a healing potion sounds interesting. I guess that's... We, we understand what the potion is, is what that's saying. Okay, cool. White Raffid's uh, decoction. The potion you're currently making requires some uh, hydrangeum. The recipe suggests using diamond dust as a source for pure hydrangeum. I mean, say that's too expensive or pay the money? We'll pay the money. Surely Alchemist is worth it. Um, yep, we'll go and find the Great White Stag. That's fine. After having procured pure hydrangeum, the remaining steps uh, weren't much of a problem. And after you had a White Raffid's decoction. Cool. I am proudly call myself an alchemist. Nice. That gives us intrigue learning. Same trait opinion bonus, which is really nice. It does lower personal combat skill for some reason. Okay, so this guy was also an alchemist? Oh no, he just likes us more now. Why? Oh, because the band the commoners ran off. There was somebody I was looking at who was also an alchemist, which is why I thought he might be. Nope. Oh, it was the uh, steward who was uh, plotting against us. Is this guy's also an alchemist? Yeah. So he now likes us more because of that. Cool, cool. Um, Ostalen, um, do you want an alliance yet? No, but one child would be enough now. So we're gonna arrange a guardian. We're gonna give him our older daughter. 10 opinion, yes. So he will say yes to that. Nice, positive opinion, form an alliance. Yeah, fantastic, he'll take it. So now, in our alliances, we're allied with this guy, this... I wish it would show their whole realm. We're allied with this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So that's a lot of land. You're not in a war. That's 2,000 troops. You're not in a war, 2,000 troops. You are in a war, so your troops are nothing. You're in a very bad war. You're, you're, you'll probably join, but not give us anything. So that's about 2,000 troops on top of our troops, which is about... Well, wait, is that 2,000 troops each? Sorry. Uh, no, that's about 4,000 troops on top of our troops, which probably gives us 1.5. So we're probably about 5.5. Does he have money? He does have money, so he could buy, he could hire mercenaries, probably will. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, Albia is no longer played by monsters. Oh, well, we lose 10 gold, but we did manage to uh, stop this place. Oh, that, I was looking at the wrong one. Uh, it was this one was played by monsters, and it no longer is. Okay, cool. We're going to hunt an, the Great White Stag. Let's see if we can find it. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any traces of your prey, but you're forced to return empty-handed. You're sure no one's impressed by your failed adventure. See, it's my own failure, or um, because my retainers are useless. So it, one gets us... They both get us martial. One gets us humble. One gets us arbitrary. Uh, humble, I think. Definitely. Yeah, we'll go humble. Right, so this child needs an education. Um, fairly balanced. Indolent doesn't do well under polymath. What's indolent give you? Yeah, it, we should probably go for learning then. It doesn't really matter because she's our daughter, so we, uh, we're just going to marry her off, but whatever. That's fine. Um, anything else in here we need to worry about? Not really. We can righteously imprison a whole bunch of people, um, but we're not going to. Vassal opinion. Let's have a look here. Do they all have positive? No one he has a negative opinion of us. Uh, oh, and we don't have a chancellor. When did that happen? I must have just completely uh, glossed over that one. Okay, we'll put in this guy. Go and prove relations with my liege so he doesn't want to kill us. Right, and now 
We want to change succession law. We cannot, because we're not at peace, because we're still in this this war. It'd be nice if there was like a please let me leave the war button, but I don't think there is. Um, yeah, it's not EU4. We can threaten as vassal out factions. Do we even have any factions? No, we don't have any factions. There is a, quite a large independence faction, actually. Uh, I don't really want to be independent, but you know. Okay, cool. We'll see if, if it breaks off. It gives us a lot more room to expand into, which is nice. Uh, do we want to give up something for our son? Kinda, yeah. Uh, we could gain stress to give him diligence. What's he likely to get already? So he's affectionate, so he's likely to get kind. He is haughty, so he's likely to... Well, I mean, he's got polymath, so I don't know what that gives you. That is a default. But... There's a kind, content, trusting, or tolerant. Okay. None of them are particularly bad. Haughty gives you proud, arbitrary, cruel, or racist. They're all fairly bad. In fact, I believe they're all the opposite. Like, a lot of them are the opposite of affectionate. Um, patient is fine. Although, for five years, we get negative two on all bar marshal. That's actually all right. Um, ambitious is the best one. Because we don't lose anything for it. I think we'll go ambitious. Give some good stats, anyway. There we go. Uh, you're trying to... Wait. We're in a war to revoke... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It said Duke Stefan, and I was like, wait a second. We're Duke Stefan. But, uh, no, it was a different Duke Stefan there. He was declared to take, what, uh, Suffragan from. So, he's trying to take this county. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Right, I would like to be at peace, but not a problem. Ah, you made our leash not hate us as much, although he still hates us a lot. Oh, because someone discredited us. Oh. Well, that's not good. Okay. Ah, fantastic. Our son got a polymath education, so that gives him plus three to all stats. Minus five fertility, which isn't great with his stressed as well, which gives him another minus ten. But that's pretty good overall. That is pretty good in terms of his stat line. Okay, cool. Um, do we want to declare our war up here yet? You're still you're in this war, which we kind of expected. You have a lot more money now than you used to. I don't know. How's it, how's everyone else feeling? You're in two wars, but you're probably going to win your other war. Yeah, you're probably going to win your other war. That's fine, because that'll be his men. Okay. That seems overall good. This guy has his men. He's not in a war. And this guy has his men. He's not in a war. This guy's completely screwed forever. Uh, he should just kind of lose that war. We can declare this. Let's have a look. What's Truce Breaker give us? So it lowers all northern rulers. So all people with uh, the northern group. Lowers their opinion of us by 25. I don't care. Also gives us Truce Breaker. Which definitely does something else. I think it lowers your diplomacy. By maybe 10? Okay. We declare we get four people on our side. I think it's probably all right as a war. Like, I'm fairly confident we could beat him. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. I mean, what have we got to lose, really? We Like, we're, we've just been in exactly the same position anyway. Whether we declare this war or not. Because we're only going to have these alliances for our lifetime. Because then our son's going to have to make his own alliances. Might as well try and get the kingdom before then. Seems reasonable to me. We'll just be a little bit more careful about it this time. So we're going to raise our levies. We're... Oh, wait, no. Wrong way around. We're going to declare the war. Hopefully everybody's still happy with this war. Council still votes yes. Uh, we have two empty seats. Do we? Oh, our steward's missing. I wish it would kind of pop up a little bit more about that. That's fine. Uh, that guy can be our steward. Go collect me money. Right. Um, let's go declare this war. Uh, hopefully that didn't change anything. Nope, they're all for it. Glory Hound... Because these are... Well, they just have no particular opinion. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, still no particular opinion? Really? Oh, okay. Fine. We're just learning the war. Right, we got Truce Breaker. Fairly bad. So that's minus five diplomacy and all northern rulers dislike us. We, however, are Guardian, not northern. 
So actually, most of Nilfgaard does not hate us for this move. That's pretty good on my part. Right, so we'll call that guy to arms. He's probably going to do nothing. We'll call that guy to arms. Call that guy to arms. And we'll call that guy to arms. Cool, cool. Right, let's merge our armies up a little bit. So we're going to get all of our men raised. And we're going to merge them all up here. Uh, I want this guy. I have no allies to... Oh, I have no allies in the war yet. There we go. We'll wait a second or two. Witcher left our court. That's fine. He did his job. Uh, first guy, he's in our war. Good. Oh, we got a new commander as well. Nice. Um, this guy's going to join. This guy's going to join. And this guy's going to join. Perfect. We got a lot of people coming. So I want all of my allies, if they're able, to come and join this army. We're just going to wait for them. Uh, what's the supply limit here? 21,000. So we should be good to wait. Okay. We're actually going to properly wait and make sure we have the entire thing ready. Uh, make sure everyone's still moving here. Looks like they are. We're not going to lead. Uh, we did get a new commander, though. We should probably check him out. Uh, replace the six with our new commander. Seems like a very good idea. Um, so we'll go with that guy. Why did our new commander not... Why is he not uh, eligible? He's our spy master. Wait, is he? So you have Cyan, Alessander, and Ewan. Should be fine. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he was our spy master. Um, I guess we'll put this guy in instead. We're not going to put our son in, because he's our only son. Yeah, I think we still have the best three. Anyway, we're going to... Ours are going to be replaced by our... Um, like ours are going to be replaced by our allies' commanders, probably, if they aren't good enough. I'm not going to be your commander. Technological advancement in military. Okay, perfect timing. What do we have? We have... A lot of heavy infantry, which is pretty good. So we'll we'll uh, just boost them up a little bit. It seems fine. Those are 4,000 troops. That is everybody who's coming. These guys may come later. These guys probably won't. Uh, it's tempting to go up here and try and win this guy's war for him, but it looks like he's going to win it anyway. So we're going to ignore that, and we're just going to head straight north. Uh, he has 4,000 troops, so we have more troops. So we'll just head straight north. Um... We want to end probably up here, assuming the supply limit's fine. It's 15,000, so it's more than fine. That seems reasonable. Uh, yeah, we'll just go all the way up there. Let's see if this uh, works out fairly well. Right, that is 4,000 troops. Uh, I forgot to actually check. Did he have any allies? He had no allies. Well, that's good. Um, we need a new commander. Uh, Arod is our chancellor. This is just a random vassal. Sure, he can be a commander. Uh, it wasn't one of our main commanders who died, was it? Where's our army? Our army's in Ebring. Okay, that's fine. No, it wasn't one of our three. That's fine. Our alliance broke down. Okay, why? So the paranoid clown pains me greatly to tell you I've noticed the absence of your armies in field of battle, all the wars being fought by others. I have no need for cowardly or treacherous allies. Oh. Oh well. Our alliance broke down. Why? I'd very much like to... Wait, which war... Yeah, I'd very much like to not be in this war if our alliance is broken down, but whatever. That's fine. I really don't care. He wasn't going to help us anyway. Um, that's 3,000 men following us. We should probably slow down. That's fine. We'll wait for the 3,000 men to catch up. Uh, oh, the, white, the Civil War ended. Nice. That's good. So we have all of our men together again. Wait, where did these... This Melatelli Uprising. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Uh, we'll keep going up north. What's this? A range patrol, though. Between... Wait, who are you? You're from Ebring. Okay. So you would like your son to marry my daughter. Yes? Do you want an alliance? No. Because you dislike me a lot. But uh, I don't have enough for a gift yet. If I get another 15 gold in this war, definitely going to go and try and force that to happen. Get the alliance. A sergeant, one of the most skilled, if not one of the best of our ranks, has been coming back to his tent with a young lad who went out by himself this morning, shortly followed by a na the naked sergeant shouting obscenities about how he is robbed at a certain brothel and how a cunt has more balls than the lad does. While his fondness for women was always in doubt, now it is hardly something, something, something. Do you want just... Do we want a good sergeant, or do we want, for the Emperor's sake, be, uh, behead this abomination? Uh, I want morale of armies to go up, so 
We'll have morale of armies go up. Um, this guy has joined my ranks as a commander. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. Right, continue going up north. Right, now we just want to walk in here without anything bad happening. So, what is this land? This land is plains. Okay, that's fairly good. Uh, does it have any river crossings? No. So, right now, I'd be tempted to just walk straight up to them. Why do we not have as many men? Did we lose some from attrition? No, these guys haven't made it. Well, those guys weren't here anyway. No, we have 5,000 men. People are just leaving the province and re-entering the province. Okay. So I think we go and try and fight him. I think we go straight up and try and fight him. We need a new commander. Okay. Um, I kind of don't want to put our son in charge, so I guess Ithil the Druid is our commander. Um, let's see. Oh, we did get a new 16 commander. That's pretty good. So we're going to walk right up here. How many men do we have? Wait, where did the rest go? Wait. Where, where did the rest of our men go? Did it happen again? Wait, where did they go? Uh, This guy lost his war. Was he? He wasn't one of our allies, though. Wait. Where's our alliances? We're only allied with two people now. What happened to this guy? It happened again. It actually happened again. I'm so actually a little bit salty at that. Run away. The Melatelli uprising has jumped in our way. Is there a way to go around it? No. Okay. Well, that's... <laughs> that is a classic... Classic moment. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.